on a day of mourning in Uvalde, the visit that every city must dread, the motorcade of a president carrying a nation's condolences for unimaginable loss. Joe and Jill Biden went straight to the memorial at the Robb Elementary School, the scene of such horror on Tuesday, President and First Lady, herself a teacher, of course, paying their respects. And then at the pictures of each of those who died, 19 children and two teachers stopping to reflect. This has become a sad ritual for American presidents, so many victims of gun violence in so many communities. But for the people of Uvalde, at the end of such a traumatic week, thoughts were with their neighbours who lost so much. We, we go home to our kids, and unfortunately they can't. And this is something that Uvalde will always be remembered because of this tragedy. And it's one thing that, you know, you don't want to be remembered this way. You always want to be remembered as something positive. A mile from the scene of the shooting, the Bidens attended Mass, a president who talks a lot about his faith in a community that has turned to it for solace. Away from the cameras, he met the families of those who died and some of the first responders who tried to save them. The questions about the speed of the police response on Tuesday have now prompted the Department of Justice to open what they call a critical incident review to see if lessons can be learned. Just one of the reckonings America is facing. While this visit was about consoling and supporting the community, Joe Biden knows there are big questions for politicians, including him, about whether anything can be done to change a culture that allows these things to happen. Those wanting gun reform say he should declare a national emergency to take personal control of what they say is a crisis. Do something! Do something! This was the chant that confronted the president here, a plea for him to do something. We will, he replied, but is that a promise he can keep? The memorials continue to grow in Uvalde. Whether what happened here does bring any change in America, they are determined the lives lost here will never be forgotten. And we can speak to Greg in Uvalde now. Greg, uh, what is the prospect of, of anything happening? What's next? Well, the pressure is growing when you think Joe Biden was making one of these visits to Buffalo 12 days ago. Now he's doing it here. It seems at the moment that, that he wants Congress to act, uh, despite all those calls for him to do something, as you, as you heard there. There is talk that Congress has a plan in place, pushed by Democrats, of course, that would uh, see uh, background checks, what they call a red flag warning system, where people who pose a threat to themselves or others who have access to guns would, would raise an alert, some more money for school funding, mental health funding as well. But we've been here before, of course, uh, and after Sandy Hook nearly 10 years ago, there were similar suggestions of similar laws and they didn't go anywhere. So it could well come down to Joe Biden and executive action to, to do something about this. But I think they feel it will depend a lot on the public. It will depend on the public calling their uh, representatives to push for action this time. And certainly the public feeling here is very strong. All day we've seen people from this town and towns all around this area queuing up to lay flowers at the memorial. The feeling's here very strong. And I think the president saw that when he was here today.